Wisdom. I'm Mary and together we are Momentary, Momentary. and this is episode three of Plugged In and Turned Up. It's your turn to bring a thing. So I've asked that you bring your support uh, to me. <laughs> uh, obviously, we were at the Beer Fest uh, earlier on this week. That was episode two, wasn't it? With Lilabi Cheryl, we had these three beers. Since then, I went back on Tuesday with Future Radio and I did some tasting. I did some tasting of not just wonderful apple juice, but also Perry and was lucky enough to be on the panel, the tasting panel, to decide the winner, the winner of wow. the East Anglian Cider and Perry. It's quite an honour. It was quite an honour. Uh, they were wonderful people. I've never done anything like that before. You ever been on a tasting panel? No. No? But Definitely it's, not. It's, it's quite fun. Uh, you have to think about all sorts of things. So we had uh, here the aroma. Uh, oh, I can see through there. That's nice, isn't it? Initial taste, uh, the finish, and also personal enjoyment. Mark them out of 40. And I was quite pleased with myself because the top three that I chose became the top three. And we had seven people on the panel. So it was the average score, you know, based on it all. Yeah. So obviously my taste is akin to those people that actually know what they're tasting. <laughs> yeah, that's, I, uh, that's quite impressive. That's quite good. So the winner, the winner was, do you know? Do you remember? Da, 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 da. I think I can, but you uh, you go for it. Okay. Cavalier Perry from the Cromwell Cider Company. Which I think is really, the, the name is odd because Cromwell was the head of the Roundheads. This is during the English Civil War. And so you had Cromwell, Roundheads, and the Cavaliers were the opposite side. Excellent. They were the Royalists. This is going to end up like a history song, isn't it? <laughs> this is it. I mean, bringing in your knowledge. It, probably episode three when it was in series one, when we had King Charles and his uh, coronation, and mm. we had to choose all of the, the kings and queens. You had to remember them all, not choose them all. That would be a good choose job, them, wouldn't it? Choose them, yeah. Choose them. Anyway, uh, so Cromwell Cider, Huntington, Huntington Shear. Cambridgeshire, they do cider and perry, and obviously they, they made the winner. And I wrote a few little notes while I did the tasting. So do you want to hear okay. my poem? A kind of poem that I wrote? Go on then. So I won't name what the, si what the perries were, I just did the perries, but there were five that I tasted. And this is what I wrote down. It begins with crackers. I'm fresh, sweetness, with a slight edge. It doesn't make sense. It's not like normal perry. Sweet, sweet, sweet. It's getting deep, deep, deep disappears quickly. I'm struggling. Acid pear drops. Oh, we are acid creatures. You can't get pissed on vinegar. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Disappears quickly. It's getting deep, deep, deep. A dangerous sign, but a rememberable time. Words like rememberable, tell me all, is not fine. <laughs> you can't get pissed on vinegar. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so a few little little thoughts that I took as I as I wrote them down, and I did make some important notes, notes that hopefully will help us influence this song about obviously what that beer, what that uh, Perry tasted like. Those words were toffee, mm -hmm. butter, popcorn, mm. also banana was spoken about, mm. but it was ultimately a very sweet taste it's a 6.7 percent wow it's um, very strong quite strong and i i obviously don't drink and uh, i don't really drink at all but i didn't have any hangover the next day uh so i wonder if that's to do with just the goodness how much did you drink in well, this tasting well i guess because you have to do a fair yeah i mean it's not a load but when you don't drink at all you i i mean that's what, why i stopped drinking because i was just getting hangovers from one beer Mm. Uh, essentially, and I didn't have, but yeah, probably the equivalent of, I don't know, a pint, two pints. Let's get on track, because I've only got you for nine more minutes. So, tell me, what do we do? How do we come up with the best song? We've got a banjo lele. We decided this was the best instrument to use. Did we? <laughs> There's that royal again. Oh, but the royals, the royal we. Uh, we talk about the royals, don't we? Sandringham apples, uh, and obviously Cromwell. Um, so I guess give me a bit of information, what? a bit further are they information. Are they growing at Sandringham then, those apples? Not the ones that won, but these are, yeah. So this was uh, my favourite of the apple juices that I sampled. Did anyone get to say, how about these apples? <laughs> I don't know, they said all sorts of things. Uh, this says, by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, manufacturers of apple juice. Uh, special mention to the people on the side of sand. It was Duncan, the manager, his manager for the week, gave me this bottle, which I was really pleased. I'm going to treasure that. We obviously collect our bottles and things, don't we? Also, Paul, um, who is a member of Norfolk Raider Cider. We're going to go out to his orchard at some point. Maybe we again, the Royal We. Um, and also uh, all the other gang. Uh, I had lots of people. Uh, can I remember all of the names? Don't need to right now, do I? Not really. No. Okay, so what you need 
Yeah. Is some chords. Some chords. Some chords. We've got some chords. We've got a chord book here. You, you basically chords. need three, three or four chords. Three or four chords. Okay, so we will try A. That's green sleeves. Da 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 da. <laughs> uh, B A B. No, it's got to be a bit more jolly, hasn't it? It's very sweet. I I mean, A, a is nice. A um, and B7 works if you put like another. Oh, I do like that. Or maybe something else there. C? Mm. Mm, but it's a bit too. A, B, C. A, B, C. Yeah. Easy as one, two, mm, three. Yeah. Okay, so we're That's on nice. six minutes, which means we've got seven minutes left. To make the song. Are we going to pause it? And come back with the song, or how do you want to do it? Let's do a quick pause. One minute pause. One minute. Okay, so we've got this. It's quite jolly. In the garden. I'm in the garden, sipping some berry. It tastes like popcorn to Mary and Tom. <laughs> what are you coming from? Okay. I do like that chord as well. I think those two are nice together. So that, that can be a little intro. Intro in, okay. I'm gonna do this performance underneath the pear tree. Uh, the, the pears haven't been brilliant this year, have they, for us? We haven't ripened enough, so we're gonna have to try and learn about that. Um, but these pears in that peri were sweet and wonderful. Mm. So how do we get that in? You need to write some words. Words with the official Cromwell England book. Uh, <laughs> come on then, pause. Okay, uh, time is ticking. We've had two one minute pauses. There's no more pauses left. 15 minutes is, is our new thing. 13 minutes is gonna be the video. I found here my notes. That is a smudgy phone, isn't it? Goodness me. Butterscotch toffee, buttery popcorn. It rolls, enjoyable, it's gone. So I remember this was the one that I obviously enjoyed the most. It got the highest scores. It also had a late bark. <laughs> A late kind of barky ah, taste. Ah. Yeah, so we could have a, a dog in there. And interestingly, the, uh, what were they called? The King Charles Cavaliers is a type of spaniel? Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. So I wonder if we could do something with them. Uh, how do you feel about that? No. No, you don't want them involved? No. Uh, you don't want the dogs? No, that okay, just so doesn't make any should sense. Should we get some Cromwell in there? Oh, there's some lovely dogs, though. I look don't think him. everyone wants I'm getting to distracted. watch you look at dogs <laughs> on your phone. If you do, comment below. Uh, okay, right. Good idea to actually use what you'd written during that experience. Excellent. So let's get those words down then. Butterscotch, toffee, buttery popcorn. It rolls, it's enjoyable, and it's gone. Um, I still feel like, yeah, we... In the old days, we had an hour, didn't we? And then we cut that down to a 30 minute video. To do it all in 15 minutes is tough, I believe. I've, I've um, done, I, I mean, I, I wrote a song. But I guess if you've given me enough here, this is Mary's time. Mary's time is precious. Tom's time just seems to unravel as, <laughs> as things happen, which is why I've had to request your help for this and making the song. But I am going to post this video tomorrow of me playing this song underneath the tree. So it's going to happen. So I guess ultimately, if we don't make it happen within this 15, I can still make it happen. Mm -hmm. But we need to have an idea of where we're going. So you just need a little chorus. When I thought about it before, I was thinking that it would be like uh, Cavalier Perry is very, 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 very good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which is nice. It's very, uh, very, very, very good. <laughs> very, well, nice is the word I use. Oh, I yeah. don't know if this captures exactly what we need from the Cromwells. Uh, final 13 seconds. Any thoughts? Uh... I think just go for it. <laughs> Honestly, I think that it's, you know, just go for it. Finished is better than perfect. There you have it. <laughs> Let's get it finished. A momentary pear song. Not a bear song, not a beer song, but a pear song. Butterscotch toffee, buttery popcorn. It rolls, it's enjoyable, and it's gone. All I need more, get more Cavalier Perry. This is good. This is great, and I'm feeling quite merry Made of conference and commerce, a variety of pears Once you've had a taste of it, you won't want to share Voted best by the judges at the Norwich Beer Fest And this guy Tom Lorenzo was particularly impressed Cavalier Perry, it's very, 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 very nice Cavalier Perry, it's very, 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 very nice Cider, it's a really lovely drink. Brewed 
brewed out in Huntingtonshire, which is harder to say than you think. Cromwell makes ciders that are real life traditional. Perry's that are tasty, no, in fact they're sensational. Cavalier Perry is very, 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 very nice. Cavalier Perry is very, 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 very nice. Using apples and pears that aren't filtered or pasteurized. If you want East Anglia's best Perry, then you just have to cast your eyes over here. Here, yeah, here, look, Cavalier Perry, the best one. We decided at the Norwich Beer Fest the other day. Cavalier Perry, it's very, 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 very nice. Cavalier Perry, it's very, 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 very nice. Here are some facts I bet that you never knew. This is how Cromwell cider generally brew. They ferment to full dryness, fruit matures for a year. Wait until there's zero sugar and it's all crystal clear. As their live yeast still present, so they don't use sugar or juice. They use unfermentable sweeteners. Their website told me this truth. They avoid refermentation by using sulfide preservatives. Giving better longevity, this 2023 award is deservative. Cavalier Perry, it's very, 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 very nice. Cavalier Perry, it's very, 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 very nice. Conference and Comets fully ripened on the tree. A light and bright beverage at 6.5% Perry. It's becoming very popular, their fastest growing line. Thank you, Cromwell Cider. I could drink this all the time. Always drink responsibly. Cavalier Perry, it's very, 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 very nice. Cavalier Perry, it's very, 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 very nice. Butterscotch toffee, buttery popcorn, it rolls, it's enjoyable, and it's gone. Sweet, yes, it's sweet, and I like it, I do. Paul from Norfolk Raider says that cider is good for you. Cider is good for you, it's yeah. a natural product. Cavalier Perry, it's very, 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 very nice. Cavalier Perry, it's very, 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 very nice. But always drink responsibly would always be my advice. Yes, Cavalier Perry is very, 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 very nice. Need some tips on our pears. Cavalier Perry is very, 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 very nice. But always drink responsibly would always be my advice. Yes, Cavalier Perry is very, 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 very.